Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, who doesn't love enjoying harvesting their own food in their backyard, especially oranges, oranges, lemons, limes, all kinds of wonderful citrus food. But it's so important that you feed them and feed them regularly in order for them to produce. So this is a two part video I'm going to do where I'm going to show you first how to help a sick orange tree with some grow power citrus. And then once you get it healthy, what to feed it in the summertime, because you really got to feed your orange tree at least three or four times a year to get those big luscious oranges. So here's the first one. What do you do if you have a sick looking tree? Hi, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, and today we're going to talk about how to help heal a sick orange tree. So here in Southern California, there's lots of trees that struggle because of really poor soil. So as you can see from this tree, it has some chloretic leaves, not a lot of leaf production, not a lot of fruit production. And what causes this is that we have really alkaline soil. Um, and that raises the pH and it makes it really hard for the roots of the orange tree to uptake nutrients. And so rather than just trying to jam more food into it, you really have to fix the soil. And so we're gonna talk about how to fix the soil of citrus trees, other types of fruit trees um, with a product called Grow Power Citrus. Now I've talked in an earlier video about how to use Grow Power. This is a special product that is um, designed for citrus trees and one of the nice things about this is that it has that soluble potash has that nice urea has a really important ingredient called humic acid and humic acid lowers the pH soil makes it so that the food can get translated into the roots easier it basically is like trying to eat something with someone standing on your stomach this helps take the weight off of your stomach so that you can eat better and it's very similar to the regular grow power you want to use about two cups for a tree of this size now i used to be use a nice measuring cup for that kind of thing but my wife caught me and she won't let me use that nice kitchen measuring cup anymore so i just use a little tupperware thing it's still about two size and a bucket like this is good for about a dozen trees so all you do is just kind of get the scooper scoop it in and you just kind of shake it around the root system and again, about two cups, about every three to four months will really help the tree become healthier. And about three weeks after you do this, that's when you wanna go get your citrus food, your Kellogg food, your Job's tree steaks. And that way the tree can then absorb that food and start living a healthier life. All right, so you've put on your Grow Power Citrus. Now you want to feed your tree something else. Now, I always recommend waiting three or four weeks before you put on this next product, but if you have never fed your tree, then go ahead and just put it on. Your fruit tree is a hungry teenager. It wants to eat a lot. So here's the next product you should use for feeding your citrus trees, lemons, limes, and oranges. All right, as you saw in the first half of the video, it's really important to fix up the soil around a fruit tree with that Grow Power Citrus. Really good stuff for getting the roots really healthy. Once you have the roots really nice and healthy, that's when you wanna add your regular food for citrus trees, fruit trees. This is really important to do in the summertime. Summertime, the plants are really struggling to pull the food out of the soil. You gotta give it a little extra kick if you're gonna get that great fruit harvest in the fall and the following winter. So you must feed your fruit trees. All right, now something like this is just a regular granular fruit. I like using it because it's organic. Basically on a mature tree like this, you're gonna use about three cups of this. On a smaller tree like that one, you're going to use about one cup. And you can use an actual measuring cup. I'm lazy. I don't feel like washing a cup. So I just go in with my hand and I just kind of throw in the equivalent of about six handfuls per tree of this size. And as always, make sure you water it in. So water a bit. I like to water my trees before I feed them. And then once I put all this on the trees, then I water it some more. So again, nice organic food, about three cups for a really big fruit tree like this, a little bit less. There are instructions on the back. 
And there you have it. This is what you need to do to get those wonderful oranges in the winter. You got to feed your orange tree in the summertime. And as always, make sure you give your trees plenty of water before and after feeding. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Hey, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to get more of my videos. This is Doug, the two minute gardener saying thanks so much for watching.